When the Bible says, believe in Jesus or you'll be condemned, it's saying, doubt him. And it threatens you if you don't. Because when you say you believe something, you're saying it may not be true. Why would you have to believe anything if you actually had access to the truth? You don't believe things that you know. Let's take a trip to the other room. When I see the cat next to me on a chair, there's no ordinary sense or reasonable sense in which I am believing that she's here in the dining room with me. She just is, and I'm aware of it. No belief involved. It's simply apparent. And if one of the kids were to call from their room, is the cat down there? And I were to say, I believe so. That would be tantamount to a lie. Because it clearly implies that I'm not sure where the cat is, even though she's right there, and I know it. Now there's nothing wrong with believing, obviously, but it seems relevant to acknowledge that when you believe something, you're showing that you actually doubt it. So when the Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, that command carries inside it the admission that maybe you shouldn't. 